I'm back. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back from a week away. Uh, yeah, I'm back, and I'm super excited to be back with you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm just eating some some Starburst right now. What kind of Starburst do you guys like? Uh, I think I like the, the either the red or the yellow one, but that's whatever. Um, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I hope that y'all are. I'm dropping Starburst. I hope that y'all are excited as well. Um, we're going to try and knock out a couple videos for you guys. We're going to start with our Clashing Without Walls account. I'm going to put a Starburst in my mouth. I wish I could give you guys some Starburst because they're freaking good. <laughs> I know, I'm being weird. I'm just excited to be back with you guys. Um, so, yeah. We've done a lot on... On this base, since I last talked to you guys, we have three archer towers now, um, and they're all level four. So we got another one once we leveled up to Town Hall five. Um, we got another cannon, and all of those are up to level five as well. We also got a wizard tower that's at level one, and I think that's all. No, so I need to get a freaking spell factor. Is what I need to do. Um, I can get some more bombs. I can get some air mines. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just put some of these bombs down. I'm going to put them by the wizard tower. One and two. So there's those bombs. Uh, the base is looking pretty good overall. Um, like I said, we've got a lot of upgrades done on it already. I'm upgrading these to elixir storages so that... I can hold a lot more um, because right now I can't hold that much at all. I really want to be able to upgrade that eventually. And like I was saying, I need to get to uh, 100,000 elixir to uh, get the spell factory, which is going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, the mortar's level 3 hanging out in the middle. We have a pretty good layout right now. Let's go ahead and watch some defense replays. This one I lost. He used 105 barbarians on it. Um, and the wizard did some serious work to him and before, <laughs> before it got taken out. Uh, the mortar is doing a pretty good job as well, but there was just too many uh, barbarians to, to take them all out. And the mortar's being dumb and only focusing on like one of them. I don't know if you guys saw that. But uh, yeah, I think the layout of the base is working pretty well. I might try and centralize the town hall a little bit but I'm not really too worried about that right now um, I'm more worried about my resources as y'all saw that was a pretty good one he didn't steal that much um, and then we have this one as well I don't know why this guy used wall breakers I just noticed that um, so he's got some giants down here he probably just wanted to clear his camps or something uh, I want to see when he uses his wall breakers because that's gonna be freaking hilarious so his giants are working their way around I don't use giants too much right now because they're a thousand elixir each for me, uh, so I'd rather just use my goblins, my barbarians, and my archers. Um, really, just tier one troops. Look at these. Look at these wall breakers. Let's see what they do to this. They didn't do that much damage at all. That's hilarious. He was totally just clearing out his out his army camps. Um, or yeah, so that guy didn't take that much either, and there was a lot to give. So why don't we go ahead and let's remove one of these while we're away. Uh, we have 59. We've gotten 59 from collecting stuff. I've gotten like two gem boxes on this. Let's go ahead and break our shield and attack and see what we can find. Um, I do have some other troops training up still. Look at this. This is really, really good. Uh, I definitely want to break in here. Um, let's see if I can... Can I take that without getting shot? Oh, come on. All right, we're just going to drop down some archers right there. Drop down a couple barbarians right here as a distraction. Drop down some archers. And then we're going to drop down a whole bunch of barbarians up here as distraction. And then I'm just going to spam. No. I really want to get my goblins right in here. Um, I need that mortar to change its freaking focus, though, over to these uh, barbarians on this side. So, come on, guys. There we go. All right, so the mortar just changed its view. We need to keep some barbarians over here. And there we go. So now the uh, the goblins are heading in, and they're all about to be taken out <laughs> by that wizard tower. But that's okay. They're going to spread out and hopefully take out a pretty good amount of that gold. It looks like a lot of it is in the storages and whatnot. Um, so hopefully we can get enough of it from these archers right here. It looks like we're getting a pretty good amount. 
Um, oh, nice. I didn't even realize that that was over there. Wow, that would have sucked if I missed both. If I missed all of those, because <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of elixir in there. Um, let's see if we can get in here to those gold mines. Um, I don't know why they just stopped right there. For some reason, I feel like the mortars can predict where your troops are gonna go, and honestly, it's pretty annoying that they can do that. Um, we're just gonna let this go for a little bit um, until all these elixir collectors are empty. But I feel like the mortar predicts where your troops are going to go, which is kind of annoying. I wish it would shoot where they are currently. Um, I don't know, because if y'all saw that, all the archers that I dropped down, uh, it shot, and then they ran right to where the thing was. So that's just a little bit annoying, if you ask me. We're about to get all this elixir, and then we'll go ahead and end the battle. Um, come on, guys. Need as much as we can get. I'm not worried about trophies or anything right now. I really want to just upgrade. And then maybe once all my troops and everything are upgraded, then I'll try and push a little bit higher. Um, but that's not a bad raid for Town Hall 5. I mean, obviously I wish I could have gotten a little bit more. Um, let's keep on training all these up. I always just fill up my camps like this, just with an even amount. Um, why don't we... Why don't we use a couple giants as distraction, uh, maybe five, uh, and then we'll fill the rest up with goblins right there. And it looks like we'll be done in about 10 minutes on here. Um, so I'll go ahead and, can I upgrade anything? I don't think I can upgrade anything. We'll go ahead and pause right here, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds. Let me see if I have any good, we can replay this one right here. Uh, I had a good amount of gold on it. I was able to get in here. Uh, and just completely annihilate this as you can see he doesn't have any all he has is archers right there oops and uh, my barbarians and goblins are just able to work their way around and completely annihilate the base and 60,000 is actually really good uh, for Town Hall 5 without having wall breakers or anything like that so you can see they just work their way around and take literally all of the loot um, I think I might have gotten did I get 100% on it? I don't think I did I probably quit, but I got all the loot on that one, which is awesome. Uh, that's definitely what I'm looking for. Hopefully, I can find another one like that uh, that we can just annihilate. So I'm gonna let these train up, and I'll be back with you guys in about 10 minutes or so, and we can uh, we can finish that up. Okay, so hold on tight. I'll be back with a second raid in the video for you guys. See you soon. All right, guys. So we're back, and I'm still eating Starburst. 10 minutes later, <laughs> um, we have a full army camp or four army camps as you can see um, what I would really like to be able to do in this video we only have one more builder available um, I might want to try and get up my gold storage a little bit so that we can upgrade more stuff like the wizard tower and whatnot so we can actually do that now um, so why don't we Mm. Is that what we want to do? Or we can upgrade a cannon for 100,000 gold, uh, which we have three of. So we don't really need all that gold quite yet. <clears throat> we don't really need all that storage quite yet. So let's see if we can find a raid with uh, 50,000 gold in it. And just like this. But it's all how we might be able to get all that but that wizard tower is in there which is going to do some serious work i'm going to skip that one see if we can find another one uh or maybe two small ones um that have like 25 each and we can split the rate in half something like that finding bases at this level really isn't too hard to do um a lot of times the walls will suck and you'll be able to to find some with like 25 30 000, uh somewhat like this but I don't want to have to deal with that mortar on that one. Um, so we'll see what we can find in one of these. And I don't want to leave because I feel like right when I close out and say I'll be right back, I'll probably find one. Um, so we'll just hang out. But guys, I had an awesome time at camp. I don't know if any of y'all saw the vlogs that I posted talking about what we did. Um, we went zip lining on the longest zip line in the southeast. One of them was like over half a mile it was ridiculous you get up to over 60 miles an hour which was crazy 
Um, we went mountain biking. We uh, jumped off of one of those. Here we go. <laughs> we jumped off of one of those telephone poles that uh, you jump off and like touch a bell or something. So we did that, which was freaking crazy as well. Um, we'll go ahead and drop down just five of our goblins down here. We're not going to use all of our troops either on this, which is going to be awesome. We'll just drop down one giant for each of these defenses. And then we're going to use our goblins as wall breakers to get us into here. Um, and we'll just drop down a couple of barbarians as well. They'll help take that out. And then we'll get in here and we will take out all of this gold uh, without even really needing to train up that many troops. So we might even get a third attack in. Um, <clears throat> looks like we're about to get all the elixir right now. So all the elixir is ours. And I do believe that as the mortar continues shooting those, um, shooting those giants that we're going to get all this gold too. So there should be 24,000 right in there and nine left. Oh, it's probably in the town hall. Uh, I'm not going to go after that. Uh, but it looks like we might be able, why don't, you know, why don't we just go ahead and do this just for some trophies. Um, we'll take out the town hall. I'm not going to deploy that many more troops. The mortar is doing some work, but we should be done with the town hall in just a second and get nine gold right there. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to take everything else out. Um, and I'm not really too worried about getting a three star, but there we go. That's an awesome amount of loot for me, especially at this level. Um, how is our, we need to train up some more. <clears throat> we need to train up three giants. Uh, and then barbarians, but we already have a lot of barbarians left, so I'm actually going to train up more goblins and barbarians. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw in a couple more archers with this. What do we add on this one? Let's throw in some archers over here and some goblins. Get rid of those four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes. Um, and that's 110. So we're actually not going to get a third attack in on this. Uh, but we will upgrade. No, I don't want to upgrade one of the gold storages. I want to upgrade one of the cannons. So we're going to upgrade that cannon right there. We're researching our barbarians at this point, which is good because I use them a lot. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and then soon we will bring up our goblin and our archers as well. Uh, we're slowly moving along, guys. I might start once all my defenses are up and maxed out on this as well as my troops. I might trophy push a little bit and see how high I can go uh, for Town Hall 5. I don't really know what I can do. Um, we can't upgrade that anymore, so these are all the troops that I would get, so I'd have to do it with all tier 1 troops, um, and I believe on, and level 2 giants, so I don't know how far up we can really go, but <clears throat> that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. I'm going to eat another Starburst to reward myself, uh, <laughs> but I hope that you all enjoyed that episode of Clashing Without Walls. We'll be back very soon. I'm going to keep doing stuff off camera, upgrading and whatnot. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys very, very soon. Uh, look out for another video today. Hopefully I'll post one tonight or something as well since I've been gone for so long. But hey guys, I'm back. I'm happy about it. Thank you so much for watching. And hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.